There was controversy earlier this month surrounding the government's remarks on North Korea's ability to fire ICBMs on mobile launchers. According to our Kim ji the more important issue regarding the regime's missile capabilities is still unknown. In a briefing held following a parliamentary hearing on Wednesday, South Korean lawmakers made it clear North Korea had not fired intercontinental ballistic missiles from transporter erect launchers, or TEL for short. The remarks follow some controversy surrounding North Korea's missile capabilities. After Blue House National Security Director Chong Yong's statement in a hearing earlier this month, where he claimed that the North is not capable of firing ICBMs from TELs. While Tung's comments may not be far from the truth, it overshadows a more important issue of whether North Korea has completed tech development of its solid fuel missiles so it doesn't have to rely on liquid fuel for its ICBMs. Liquid fuel is more risky to use compared to solid fuel since it's easier to detect while fueling. To pour in liquid fuel, the missile needs to be erected upright, and according to a South Korean military source, this is cited as one of the main reasons why the North is using TELs before transferring the missiles to immobile missile launchers. According to Jung's remarks, it's believed the North is not capable of striking the U.S. with nuclear-equipped ICBMs without being detected. But according to experts, North Korea's application of solid fuel technology could be only a matter of time. North Korea can develop the technology in several years if it really wants to. The North's Pukuksong-2 missile uses solid fuel, and it has already revealed in the past in its military parade an ICBM that presumably operates on solid fuel. It took France some 40 years to develop solid fuel missiles into ICBMs, but it could take North Korea a shorter period since the North has already acquired the basic technology. Last month, the North tested a newly developed submarine launch ballistic missile, the Pukuksang 3, that utilizes solid fuel technology, which boasts greater propulsion, smaller resistance, and is lighter than liquid fuel missiles. Kim Jian, Arirang News.